Tires are an absolutely crucial part of your car's entire makeup. After all, they're the only point of contact between your car and the road itself. So it's funny that a lot of us often dismiss them or forget them and don't actually understand what it is that we have underneath our car. So what do all these figures and numbers mean on our tire sidewalls? Well, that's what we're gonna take a look at today and find out what exactly you've got written on your tires and what they mean. Everything you need to know about a tire is written right on the sidewall here. For instance, these first three digits here indicate the width of the tire in millimeters. These two numbers indicate the aspect ratio of the tire as a degree of its overall width. So how much of this section is of the entire width, which you can see of here, is 45. Up next we have R, which stands for radial, and this is the type of construction of the tire that we have here. Now, radial tires are pretty much found across the board in passenger vehicles, and you only find them change when you switch to motorsport or other categories like that. This final figure here is the diameter of the tire, and this is a 20 inch tire. Now, cars these days are getting larger tires than ever, but you'll always want to consult this one first if you're looking for a replacement, and these are all figures that tire fittles will ask for before you can book in a tire or a replacement. You might see some additional figures on your tire too. For instance, on this one we have 101W. Now, 101 refers to the maximum load rating of this car, and you'll be able to see what that means with your in-car documentation. So look in your handbook, look for that figure, and it'll tell you what the maximum load the car can handle with properly inflated tires. You shouldn't exceed that. Finally, we have W and that refers to the speed rating. That's the maximum speed that these tires have been tested and should be allowed to go up to. In this car, W means 168 miles an hour, which is really cracking on a bit. Of course, you should never try and exceed your speed limits in your local areas, but it does mean that these tires have been tested right the way up to 168 miles an hour. Okay, so we've covered off all of the main things you need to know about the tire sidewall markings. But how do we inflate our tires to the correct pressures? Well, that's easy because everything you need to know is actually inside the car. On most cars, you'll be able to find your correct tire pressure readouts in two places, either underneath the fuel filler cap or inside the door shuts on the driver's side. Check these and you will see the specific tire pressure that you need to inflate your tires to for your car. It really is quite simple. And then all you need to do is either use a home compressor or visit a compressor at a petrol station forecourt, inflate them properly, and you'll be able to make sure that you're not only getting the best possible wear from them, but you're being as economical as possible because properly inflated tires reduce fuel usage and reduce wear on your tires too. And there we have it. We've covered off all the main things you need to know about your tire sidewall readouts. However, if you do need to change your tire, if you want to know more about the general wear and tear of your tires, now have a look at this video by Fuzz Townsend where he looks slightly more in depth at how you can get the very best from your tires and what to do if you need to change them.